guys, what's up? I'm actually back on my camera today. I have bought a new memory card and we are all good to go. There will be no more videos on my phone, thank God, because it was a hassle. So this is probably going to be the most requested video I've ever done on my channel, um, and that is how I edit my Instagram photos. It is crazy how many people message me constantly and like comment on my photos and just reach out to me telling me how much they love my editing. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right and that my account was aesthetically pleasing. So thank you guys. But anyway, there is a method to my madness on my Disney Instagram. I do use Adobe Lightroom on my iPhone, which I do tell you guys all the time. But the thing with my editing is that I've created presets for myself to use specifically for my account. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have been following me for a while, you would know that I do sell my own presets on my Etsy shop. They are unfortunately not the exact ones I use on my Disney account. Um, but I have made some specifically for you guys. Um, to kind of make a aesthetically pleasing feed on your Disney accounts. And obviously they're not just made for Disney accounts, you can literally use them for any kind of photo editing. Um, I have made about 10 right now. They're all over the place with different colors and styles and I'm also in the works of making more right now. It's actually really hard for me to be making presets all the time because it constantly makes me want to change my own theme because I'm so obsessed with the ones that I've been making I'm just like wow that would look so pretty on my feed but I can't. I literally I'm committed to the theme that I have right now. I'm sticking to it. It seems to be doing really really well right now and I'm like really shook at how fast that I've been gaining on my Disney account. But I think one of the biggest things that you need to create um, a successful Disney account or any kind of like kind of Instagram influencer account, you know, is a aesthetically pleasing feed. I think that's what people look for when they go to follow accounts, especially in the Disney community. If your feed looks good, they're going to want to follow you. So basically what I'm going to do today is to have a little screen grab of my um, my phone over here or over here. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to have a little screen recording um, and you guys are going to watch me as I go through and edit my photos on Lightroom. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me hit the screen recording option on here. Okay, perfect. So we had this unedited photo of me from Universal the other day. Okay, so I'm gonna go down the list right now. Um, and just so you guys know, um, my presets are kind of just like starters for me. So sometimes they're not exactly how I want them to be, just depending on the lighting. You literally, like if you have a preset, you won't get the exact edit you want for every single photo if you want it all to match. You do have to play with it a little bit. The biggest thing that I see um, as a problem is just the lighting. It literally just depends on the lighting. For example, Blue Lagoon right here, um, probably one of my favorite ones. Oh, sorry I got a Snapchat. Okay, one of my favorite ones, but it does come out a little dark sometimes in pictures. So we're going to go to the exposure and brighten that up a little bit. As you can see, it looks ten times better like that um, and you can play with the contrast and stuff it'll make it like either darker or lighter with the shadows kind of it looks like um, everything else looks kind of good with that so but anyway this is what Lightroom looks like if you guys a bunch of you guys actually haven't used Lightroom because when you message me about my presets um, you guys have a lot of questions about how the app works is it free blah 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 yes it is free it is very very easy to use for sure um, I will go through and show you guys everything, like here's the colors right now, you can make it more blue, more orange, I don't remember what that was on, it was like, I don't know, something like that, uh, green, purple, it, you literally just play around, you can make it more vibrant, less vibrant, you know, and then saturation is a good one because some of these filters, people say they make them look orange, um, that's just honestly a skin tone thing, unfortunately with the photos that I have been testing out my presets on. I'm using and basing it off of my skin tone, which like won't work for everybody, I've noticed. So if you guys are having like problems with you looking orange or like distorted colors, which I've heard from like a couple people, um, just I the first thing I would do is either go to the exposure and the saturation. So you can definitely fix those problems with that. Okay, just to show you guys the difference from each preset, I'm going to stick with the same photo and edit the same one with all the different preset options. So the next one on the list we have uh, Coconut, which is actually named Coco on here because I was testing her, the other Coconut one out and I liked this one better for the release. Um, it's not, I'm not sure if this is actually like the best idea to test all the different presets out on the same photo because obviously some photos 
work better with some presets. Um, for example, if you want to um, post beach pictures, I say Blue Lagoon is a great option because it really brings out the blues and the brightness of the photo. Um, and then, for example, let me scroll down real quick to something like P. Ooh, wrong one, Peachy Keen. Like, that's a great filter, and I will show you guys it on something else that's like darker and more moody. Uh, but for example, if you if you are a Disney account that wants to post brighter photos, I would suggest something like Good Vibes. This is my bestseller on my Etsy shop. Literally, this one sells like crazy. People love it. And honestly, when I made this one, I was like, wow, I really, really, really want to change my theme to this. But I have commitment issues, so I have to stick with my current theme. Um, so this one's great. Happy Days is great. It came it came out really, really bright with this specific photo just because it was very, very bright out. It was like 3 o'clock when I took this and it was so bright. But if you want to change it, you can... I would, like I said, I would first hit the exposure. Um, then I would go over to the vibrance. It's very, 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 very br vibrant. Words are hard. Very vibrant, so you can also mess around with that. Um, I think... These two filters are my favorite because I love the brightness of it. I love the colorful, fun. Ah, I got another Snapchat. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I think it looks great with theme park photos for sure. Um, let me go back and try to throw on Peachy Keen to something else that's more dark and moody. Oh, I know exactly what photo I want to use for this. Okay, one of these. This has my current filter on it right now. Um, but I remember I was playing around with Peachy Keen on this photo specifically, and I love how it looks. Um, I can, whatever is next to it, let's see, oh, they're all the same looking photo, okay, but, okay, um, for example, we'll go down and throw it on something like... Two hours later. Like, like this, maybe? I don't know, okay, so this has my old filter on it, which actually is currently in my Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. Peachy Keen. Okay, I think it looks great with moody photos like this. It looks kind of professional, honestly, and it really, really whitens my teeth, too. Um, so there's that. I think it looks great. It literally just depends on your preference for what you want your account to look like. Everybody likes different things, and it's also good to be unique and make your feed stand out because people will want to follow you if it's not like the same thing that they see in everybody else's feed all the time. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys my pink filter flamingo. I really, really like this one too, but it does, it is a little picky with like the, the options for your photo, so um, we'll throw it on this one. Or, eh, I like this one better of my face. So we'll show you guys this one. I don't think I posted this on my account yet, so, uh, don't come for me when you're just like, I mean, uh, I already saw this picture somewhere when I finally posted, okay. So, it is bright, as you can see right now, but it gives off the fun pink vibes. Let's see if we can go, oh, the exposure's on all the way on one. So you can move it down. Um... It's very cloudy in this photo. Maybe this isn't a good one to use, but that's what it looks like on that. I still think it looks really, really good. Um, it is very different, and that's why I like it so much. Um, let's find a pinky photo. Okay, I'm still looking. All right, let's see. Flamingo, what would you look good with? Um, honestly, like I was saying, guys, it will look good with anything. You just have to play around with it a little bit. Okay, um, you will use this one. Let's see. I think we could use a couple on this one. Okay, so we're going to use this one for a flamingo right now just to test it out. Um, where are you, flamingo? Oh, yeah, I have, okay. So, it, it's a little bright, but like I said, some of these are more of just like a starter if you want a pinky tone. This is a great starter. Um, so, that's what it looks like if you just play with the exposure a little bit. Um, I really like the theming of the pink photos so basically uh, let's go back to one that's more like universal with my filters okay so for example um, there are some filters like good vibes and happy days which could be the exposure could be changed a little bit for these ones but some of them are completely spot on and I would use them just as is rather than some like flamingo I was saying and creamsicle too um, are more of like just starters basically 
which is another reason why I do sell them in a pack. I do have sales very, very often because um, if you guys just want starting points, um, some of them are great for starting points. If you want like an actual filter, they could just one click throw on. Um, some of them are great for that too. So that's why I threw them all in a pack. Okay, here's another great tip of how to edit the photo. So I have this photo saved with the Good Vibes filter. I went and I saved it to my camera roll just like that and saved it, blah, blah, blah. Re-uploaded it so I can throw a filter on top of the filter. So Good Vibes is already saved on this. If you guys want to change up any of the colors, you can use the filters on top of each other. Also, I'm so sorry I'm not looking at the camera and talking to you guys the whole time because I'm trying to do this on my phone. I know you guys probably understand that because, yeah. But, okay, so let's see what I can try to throw on top of this. Peachy King might look cool. <gasps> Wait, Kyle looks a little weird, but I like that. Okay, but we won't keep that, we'll keep scrolling. So, that looks pretty cool. I don't know, that's why I like to have options. So if you guys go ahead and ever buy a preset, even if it's not from me, try to buy them in a pack because if one's not like really doing it for you, uh, if you buy them all in a, in a pack, you can play with them all, and then like you can you can also save a preset. Um, like say okay, so you got good vibes. Let me go to one that's saved as it actually. Okay, um, scrolling back down. Okay, so this one's saved as my Disney one that I use. But anyway. So if you guys want to make your own preset, say you want them to be a little brighter, so you take a preset that you buy, and then you turn the exposure up, and you're like, oh, I really like how that looks. I want to save the preset as that. So go ahead and hit the button up here, um, and just hit Create Preset. And so that's all the things that you changed on here, or even that came with the preset, but that also updated with the things you saved um, and made on your own. You go ahead and name it. Hi, that's what I'm going to name it. I don't know. Okay. And now you have your own edit of the preset that you bought saved. So you don't have to go back and edit the exposure every single time. So for example, if you are more of like a dark photo kind of person um, and you want them to be lightened up, say with Blue Lagoon, and it's too dark for you, go in, change the exposure, then save it as a new preset so you don't have to go back and re- um, do that part every single time because that does get really really annoying and I do like um, playing around with presets like that and saving them as my own with my own like personal touch. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use other options of things in Lightroom. I will keep happy days on this filter right now so I will show you guys the details so this sharpens the photos makes it more Sharp? I really couldn't think of another word for that. I don't really go in and use much of the detail. The only thing I do is really change the sharpness and just the detail just to make it look more clear, more professional. That actually does work. Um, I don't know if you can see a great difference on the screen recording, but I'm telling you it really does make a difference, I think, when I edit my photos. Um, same thing with effects. I don't touch anything. The only thing I really change ever is the clarity just to make them look more professional. Also, oh, I just touched something. Okay, sorry. I will put you back at zero dehaze. I don't even know what that means. But I know a lot of people, this is like a trend right now, people like grainy photos. So you can go ahead and change that. That actually looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. So if you're more of like a moody, grainy kind of photo editor, rather than like sharpness and uh, the clarity like I like to do, honestly, I'm so into this grainy look. So if you wanna like take a preset and throw some grain on it, that looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Okay, I have showed you guys this um, page already, but I'm going to go in and go a little deeper into this area here. So as you can see, there's every single color listed right here. You can go ahead and change the hue, saturation, and luminance of each one. This photo has a lot of bright blue, so I will show you guys what it looks like if you change the uh, hue, saturation, and luminance for the blues. Like I said, I'm already using the Happy Days preset on this photo, so the hue is already set at 30, negative 38, sorry. Um, but you can change it, watch the blues in the photo of my dress, and on the wall, it gets darker. Um, I'll put it like here just to show you guys a change. You can change the saturation, it gets darker, it gets... Why is that kind of cool? But anyway, yeah, this is what it does. This is what, uh, dude, I like that. That's <laughs> so weird. I'm gonna leave it like that because that looks cool to me right now. And then 
Luminous makes it more washed up looking and then darker. Dude, I like that. Okay, I just think I discovered something new for my next preset, stay tuned. I think another helpful tip of when you start with a preset, um, make its own album. I st tried to do that, I started off doing that, and as you can see, one of my folders has uh, hundreds of more photos than the rest of them, but when I um, try to make a new preset for my shop, I do it in a folder just so I can see how they all look next to each other. Also, I'm going to show you guys another app that I've been using to like kind of predict the future of my feed. So it's called Color Story. And I don't actually do any editing on this app at all. You totally can. It's up to you. They have some cool features. I just use the grid. And what the grid does is lets you look at your feed kind of before you post. You can like move pictures around and make things look better. So for example, I just messed some stuff up, but this is potentially what my feed looks like on my page right now. Um, and I kind of like, I'm not going to scroll up and show you guys the pictures that I have for like future posts because like then you won't be excited when you see a new picture from me on my Instagram. But um, basically you can move them all around, you can kind of just like see what it will look like. So I've been like planning colored sections of my theme for the future. Right now it's kind of a mess because I have some like, I had some like announcement posting needed to make and I needed pictures to use for that and also sometimes it doesn't go as planned because I'll go do something else and then be like, oh I really like that photo, I want to post it tomorrow and like kind of throw off like the, the colors of my feed because it's not like what I originally planned out on my color story grid. Like um, this picture right here, the one I posted today doesn't really go with any of that but it's cool that you can like see on here what it's gonna look like so I think that's really 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 helpful um, I can go ahead and show you guys the editing things on here just if you want to use this app I think it's pretty cool um, you do have to pay money for some of them so once again I don't really mess with this but you could it's just like Lightroom you can adjust everything it's got contrast brightness saturation vibrance temperature tint all this stuff there's a lot of stuff on here. Okay, cool. Um, and they do have their own filters, but all these ones right here, as you can see, I do not have. There's a little plus sign on all of them because I have to buy them and I ain't about it. I'd rather just like mess around on Lightroom. And the last thing I like to do before I post a photo is, here I'll show you guys right here. Let me start screen recording. Give me one second. Okay, so here you see the almighty Amanda's Disney life. Here we are in the flesh. So I'm gonna go to add a photo. Um, I don't know what I can even use right now. Oh, there's all my screenshots. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so we'll just pretend we're gonna post this photo again. Um, so honestly, I don't use any of the Instagram filters ever, ever, ever. I think they're lame and honestly not that good at all. Sorry if you guys use them, but like they ain't for me. So that little magic button that you see at the top of Instagram though, this little thing right here, um, I think it really, Okay, midway, I decided that I want to use a brighter photo for this, so we're going to go to my Lightroom album. Okay, here we are. So, let's see. Um, let's use a photo. Let's try to use this nice photo here of me and Kyle from Easter, because it looks bright. It looks nice. So anyway, I love using this thing up here. It really helps kind of like bring your photo to light. It gives it more... I don't know. It's I can't even describe to you what it does. It literally look at that thing. It's like a little magic wand. It just makes it look better. I don't know. But I always mess with that before I post any photo. I usually turn it up to about 20 or 30. It just makes it look more detailed, more professional, and I just think it makes the picture look better all in all. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like that wasn't enough information for this video. I don't know, but like honestly that's all I do. That's why I like using Lightroom so much because it's so easy. Once you find something you like, you literally just one click, boom, it's done and it matches the rest of your feed. So I'm not saying that you guys have to like go out and get my presets, but even on Etsy there's a lot, a lot of, lot of cool presets that are really unique and fun and colorful and like I showed you guys you can make it your own uh, you can change anything you want once you buy a preset you can go ahead and save your own creation basically um, 
I just think that even if you don't want to use an exact one, it's always good to have somewhere to start just so they'll all match. It's so much easier than going in and adjusting the exposure, the contrast, the everything to like every single time you want to make a post that's just so time consuming. Um, so I just think it's so much easier to go on that app and do that. I've gone through so many editing apps and that's been my favorite by far. I used to use Visco for a very, very long time. C1 was my like go-to filter. Then I used After Light for a while and honestly none of them were as good as Lightroom. It's literally, literally so good and so quick and easy and then you get to see everything in your folder and it all like comes full circle because you can see all your pictures together and be like, wow, that looks real nice. We love that. So that's basically all I have today with my Instagram photos. That's all I do to edit my photos. Sometimes I go on Facetune and edit out a pimple or two and there is no shame with that at all. I just, I, I don't want to look at them. I don't, like, I know you guys probably are just like, oh, don't be so hard on yourselves. We don't care. I'm just like, well, I do. I don't want to look at them. So sometimes I do that if it's real bad. But usually, honestly, those filters make everything look beautiful with the click of a button. So I'm just like, who needs Facetune, girl? So I will link my Etsy shop in the description. You guys don't feel pressured at all to go get one of my presets. You can obviously go look on Etsy or anywhere else that sells them. Um, there are so many different options, but I think some of mine are great starting points and just like good vibes and happy days are my two favorites for sure. I think they're perfect for Disney theme park kind of posts. Um, they really bring like the colors to life in your photos. So. I would highly recommend those if you guys were looking to purchase one of my presets. And if you guys do, thank you so much in advance. Thank you to everybody so far that has supported me. I've made way more sales than I thought I would. I was just doing this for fun because so many people reach out to me and ask me how I edit my photos and I didn't think it'd blow up like this, so thank you guys. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video which is hopefully at Disney World because I have not been vlogging there too often lately and I need to get back on my game. I have a very very busy week this week and next week and then the week after I start my next Disney College program. So if you guys don't see too much content from me within the next couple weeks just know that I am planning a big video for my location reveal and I will get those Disney College program vlogs back on this channel. I cannot wait. And if you guys didn't see my last video or my post on my Instagram, please feel free. Hold on, I have an itch. Please feel free to send me a clip of you guys guessing which resort you think I'll be working at for my location reveal. And I will make sure to put your guys' clips in my video. Also, don't forget to send me your guys' Instagram handles because I want you to email me those clips that you're sending for my video just for quality purposes. Do not send them to me on Instagram. Um, I will also link my email for that in the description as well or it's on my profile on Instagram. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!